I am Rajneesh Domalpalli and I'm very happy to introduce our film Vanaja to you. Vanaja was my master's thesis at Columbia University and I began the script late in 2001. As a starting point, I decided to go back to a film that I had seen a long time ago called Sophie's Choice and to a moment of mother-child separation in that. That moment still exists in Vanaja. <laughs> But as I began to write, I found that the story began to meander. It began to take on elements of class distinction and conflict that still infuse our societies today, and which I suspect I had been exposed to while growing up in rural Andhra, where my father had worked as a dam construction engineer. Namaste, Ma. Namaste, Ma. I am Pre production lasted for about a year and a half, starting in August of 2003 and going until the end of 2004. Finding actors was an enormous hurdle. I knew that I wanted a sense of authenticity in the film, and that basically meant that I would have to cast from labor camps and hutments and so on. We not only had to find people willing to act, but we had to train them too. And that was a real challenge. But I had the advantage of a wonderful professor at Columbia, Leonardo de Coven, who I feel had opened my eyes to the art of acting, as well as working with actors. And given that I had already used non-professionals while shooting my vacation projects, This was when I would go back home to Hyderabad. I felt that taking the plunge with the feature now made sense. We found Mamata, Mamata Bhukya, who plays Vanaja in a school. And at first, I was not going to select her. Her hair was too short. She looked like a boy. But her teacher was the one who insisted that I listen to her sing. And I still remember how sweet her voice was when she sang a song about Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the Indian independence movement. How could I not select this little uh. angel? Gandhi Tatiya, Gatti Vadavaya, Pattu Badi Vaya, Swarajam Tichi Pidi Vaya. But as time progressed, I began to see that I had really lucked out. This was a girl with a remarkable and absolutely exceptional intelligence. She had to learn both acting and Kuchpudi dance from scratch, both within a span of a year. And I think her work speaks for itself. <laughs> Although Vanaja looks at our rural society and concentrates on boundaries that can and cannot be crossed and what happens when we do cross them, the film also showcases elements of our art and culture, things which I feel are gradually being supplanted by an influx from the West. Modernization is inevitable, but I feel we need to re-examine how and why our heritage is fading. What has been handed down to us through generations has an enormous uniqueness and a diversity to it. A house in Andhra doesn't look like one in Telangana, just a few hundred kilometers away. There is a tremendous depth to our classics, for example, in the way an Ashtapadi is composed and rendered. There is a sense of identity in the way our streets look and feel in the way we interact with our environment. Vanaja, 
And in the way we follow our customs. But I feel that it is a tragedy that we don't honor what is ours more. The two elderly Burakata artists who appear in Vanaja's opening have now passed away. But what is equally tragic is that their two sons, who would under earlier circumstances have taken up their parents' profession, have now taken to jobs in construction and plumbing, quite simply because they can't make ends meet as Burakata artists. In earlier days, where a village would sit and watch their show all evening and well into the night, they now watch TV. However, film is one way in which we can honor and bring back to life what we are losing. We can preserve this way of life in stories that people will love to see. And in making the film, I felt that I should strive to record these fragments of our past that are so rapidly being lost. And that, I hope, is one of the strongest themes that will come through as you watch Vanaja. Thank you.